Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This just in. The Philadelphia Eagles signed Josh Sweat to a three-year, a three-year contract extension. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. The Philadelphia Eagles and Howie, Howie Roseman continue to make sure that they put the youth first. That is what's happening. So this could come out to a situation Basically, this is telling me that they've made their decision. You're already paying Barnett 10 years, $10 million this year, which is probably unacceptable by a lot of standards in the NFL and with everything that's going on. You got all of these guys and you like like trade him or something. You know what I'm saying? You're already paying him 10. You know what I mean? I think they made their decision. I think they they, I think they like him what they see him more out of Josh Sweat. Um, it's, it's one, if it's one thing I don't like, it's it's middle of the year contract negotiations. I hate this shit while the season is going on because you never know how John, you never know how uh, Derek Barnett is going to take this. You know what I'm saying? It was cool when you extended my lotta, but it wasn't a fight to see who was going to be the last man standing in that situation. You know what I mean? We needed a left tackle. My lotta had already taken the job from Andre Dillard, but these are two guys who were arguably equally as good in training camp. You know what I mean? These two guys were arguably equally as good in training camp. And I feel like the Philadelphia Eagles doing something like this could either probably lower the morale of Derek Barnett drastically or boost the morale of Josh Sweat drastically, if that makes any sense. Josh Sweat will be happy he got the bag. Derek Barnett probably going to be feeling like that should have been his bag. And that's all is said and done. You know what I'm saying? Listen, these, these, these guys got egos, man. That's how it could go. Now, what the Philadelphia Eagles need to pray for is that this finds a happy medium. And the medium being nothing happens. Derek Barnett knows he's about to get paid. He's about to hit the market. He already know that. And Josh Sweat is happy he got paid and he got the market. But it is tough to uproot and leave from the team that drafted you and have them select somebody else over you. So I can understand both cases for the argument. But is it a good move? Yes, it's a good move. I just don't like the timing of this move. I don't like the timing of this move at all. Um, everybody told us we was going to be in cap hell. You know, it was a lot of a lot of Giants fans and stuff like that was saying that. But what do they know? They 0-2. Everybody was telling us we was going to be in cap hell. To me, it looks like the Philadelphia Eagles have utilized the cap that they have. Um, restructures, you know what I mean? So I guess we know what that Fletcher Cox restructure for. It was indeed to sign, help, jo help sign Josh Sweat to this three-year extension. A lot of people thought Dallas Goddard might be next up. I think Dallas Goddard will get done eventually later on down the line. But I think they're going to drag their feet on that one simply because... Simply because I feel like that they're scared, uh, not scared, but they're worrying about how Zach Ertz will take it. Zach Ertz has already been, Zach Ertz is basically, in my opinion, is, is one of the players on our teams that shows emotion and how he feels. That's good. Being as though we are, because we already know where Zach Ertz stands. At least we don't know how you're going to take it. You know this is going to be emotional for Zach Ertz if Goddard gets an extension, because that just means that there's no room for Zach Ertz on the roster at this point. You know what I mean? Those are the type of scenarios that you want to avoid with an extension around this time. But I will say this. Howie Roseman isn't lying. He's putting the youth first. He is investing in the trenches yet again. Investing in the trenches yet again. And I'm super proud of Josh Sweat. I want to put that out of there because Josh Sweat was a guy who barely made the roster a couple years ago. I don't know if he was a practice squad or not. But I, I got wind of Josh Sweat one preseason season. I can't remember what season with us. And preseason, I'm like, who was 94? He's cooking. He's cooking. And then from that point on, he's always been impressive. Even with being injured, he bounced back and still remained to be pr impressive. So shout out to um, Josh Sweat. You know what I mean? Well-deserved contract. You went out there and fought for it and battled for it like my lotta. Again, again, we're seeing that Nick Sirianni is continuing to reward those guys who show up and put it out there on the field. Now, everybody was questionable. At least let Jordan Mylotta play some games. Well, I'll say I'll, I'll base it off of week one alone that Jordan Mylotta earned his bread. He earned every penny, earned every penny. And everybody want to tell us that it's only one game. Don't believe that. When you got a guy showing that effort, running out there, being lead blockers at that size, moving guys around with one arm, he got the whole arsenal and somebody that you want to block the left side of Jalen Hurts for years to come. He got the whole arsenal, bro. It's going hey, to, listen, he got the whole arsenal. Derek Barnett, more remains to be seen if I can give him that type of praise. But Derek Barnett's, I mean, I'm not Derek Barnett, I'm sorry. Well, Derek Barnett and Josh Sweat. The upside of Josh Sweat is just amazing, though, at this point. The upside is just it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. Howie Roseman has identified first-round talents in later rounds, and now it's time for them to get paid. And he's doing it early enough so, so to where the market is in the favor of the company. How can you fire somebody that's that smart? How, now, now, we know how he got his issues, but how can you fire somebody that's that smart? 
for real, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. We're going to tap in with more of this on Goat Talk tonight, 9 p.m. on LB Channel, LB Philly Mike. You know what I'm saying? All the Hurt Season hats still 10% off. Make sure you tap in with the Print Champs. Grab your Hurt Season hat. You know what I mean? Your buckets, all of that stuff is still off. Use code QB1. Tap in, man. Big Mass Skate, BetQL. Listen, Goat Talk tonight is going to be a good one, man. We got to talk about these 49ers. And listen, you know the vibes.